This is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for September 4th, 2024. The Trans-Siberian Orchestra have announced their massive holiday celebration tour, marking a triple celebration 20 years of their beloved rock opera, The Lost Christmas Eve, reaching their 20 millionth concert goer and surpassing a phenomenal $20 million donated to charity. Tickets for the general on sale go on sale Friday, September 13th at 10 a.m. local time. That includes six shows in New England, two shows on November 29th at the SNHU Arena in Manchester, New Hampshire, two shows on November 30th in Worcester, Massachusetts at the DCU Center, and two shows in Uncasville, Connecticut at the Mohegan Sun Arena on December 1st. While the guys in Tool are working on new music, they are also working on tour plans for next year. Tool have locked in spring tour dates in South America, beginning March 21st in Buenos Aires and wrapping up in Sao Paulo, Brazil on March 29th. A federal court in Atlanta has granted Isaac Hayes' estate a preliminary injunction against Donald Trump, barring the former president from playing the hit song, Hold on, I'm coming at rallies and other campaign events. The federal judge made his ruling during a hearing in Atlanta yesterday. The Hayes estate is also suing Trump for $3 million after allegedly finding 134 instances where the former president used Hold on, I'm coming at campaign rallies without permission. Political campaigns obtain a political entities license from organizations like BMI and ASCAP in order to play music during their rallies and other official events. However, artists have the ability to pull their music from these licenses. Hayes Estate asserts that they withdrew their license once Trump started using Hold On, I'm Coming at his rallies in 2020. Despite this, Trump allegedly continued to play the song, leading the estate to claim that he is liable for $150,000 worth of fines for each instance, amounting to over $3 million. Spirit Box is getting ready to kick off their tour with Korn and Gojira coming up on September 12th, but they are also hinting at new music. The band has launched a revamped website where you can pre-save the band's upcoming new music. Upon doing so, you can realign a spine that'll give you a tease of some of the new songs. Korn, Gojira, and Spirit Box are set to hit the Xfinity Center in Mansfield, Massachusetts on September 21st. Alex Van Halen has shared a snippet of the unreleased song that he wrote with his late brother called Unfinished, which is scheduled to arrive next month alongside the release of his memoir, Brothers. You can listen to the preview on his Instagram. The 384-page memoir published by Simon & Schuster is set to arrive on October 22nd. David Gilmour says he wants to be rid of the Pink Floyd catalog, but his motive for selling has nothing to do with money. During a conversation with Rolling Stone, he admitted that the sale of Pink Floyd's catalog is something that is still in discussion. Rumors have suggested that such a deal could bring in over $500 million, saying, quote, to be rid of the decision making and the arguments that are involved with keeping it going is my dream. I'm not interested in a catalog sale from a financial standpoint. I'm only interested in it from getting out from under the mud bath that has been going on for quite a while. Gilmore further noted that Pink Floyd decisions are made on a veto system and that they often end up being three people saying yes and one person saying no. Over the weekend, Sid Wilson played his first show with Slipknot since suffering severe burns in a bonfire explosion. Wilson telling TMZ, Kelly's been great through the whole thing. She's been the go-between for the nurses and me, so she's Nurse Kelly, he said. She's had me on such a strict regiment of just changing everything and cleaning everything, wiping everything, and making sure I'm shaving every day, just all the steps that they said to do, and then some. She goes extra, extra hard, and my face has healed incredibly fast. They said it would heal fast, and now it's just pink where everything was. I have some kind of acne-looking stuff down my neck and on my cheek, but overall, everything's coming along great. The thing that's hard right now is being in sunlight, so I kind of feel like a vampire. 
And that's your sit rep. For more details on all of the stories, check the links in the show notes of this episode. And don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to the Mistress Carrie podcast. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 222 featuring Dorothy is available now.